welcome <laughs> hope you're having a great wednesday uh yeah we are tuning in from the uk let us know where you're tuning in from we have jin young i think you're from south korea I don't know if you're there right now what are you saying i think <laughs> after all this time <laughs> yeah oh madeline from berlin anna from rome welcome yeah susanna Alfred, anna generally it's one in the morning <laughs> oh wow that's commitment <laughs> also in indonesia as well so that's gonna be a time sometime in the day <laughs> Wow, so yeah, it's good morning, good evening, and good night, middle of the night for some of you. Hi, hi, hi. Oops, still going. Brazil, more Germany. Yeah, keep letting us know where you're from. <coughs> Sorry, and how you're doing today. It's starting to get dark here, which is horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely winter. Winter has arrived. There you go. Julia from Italy. Well, it's already dark here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Wow, that's amazing. We have people from so many different countries. I've already lost count of how many different countries we have represented here already. That's so good. Um, so yeah, as you know, you've come here for a quiz uh, and our quiz is a journey through 30 different languages over the course of the next 30 minutes. It might possibly even be more than 30 languages. I've also lost count of that, but we're going to be covering a lot of different languages <laughs> and different language related trivia surrounding <laughs> that. So I hope you've been studying hard. <laughs> We're going to find out who our champion linguist is to, well, for Expo Lingua. Winter edition 2021. Gonzalo's asking if there's any sabotage. There is not because Tetsu didn't come. <laughs> Just does. So for those of you who don't know who are uh, new today, we've run several different quizzes at various events this year, all online this year, for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, it's really awesome to see some familiar names and um yeah it's so great to be back at expo lingua for the winter edition so a few people are still coming in so we won't start just yet um but still feel free to uh introduce yourself in the chat remember to write everyone not just to panelists so that everyone can see and um we can all interact with each other on the chat function so yeah, let's um, explain a bit more about how today will work for people who uh, have not played on Kahoot before. Charlotte, do you want to give us a quick rundown? Of how to do Kahoot? Yeah, um, get a phone, get uh, another browser, something you can get on the internet on. You don't even necessarily have to be able to see us anymore because Kahoot's upgraded and we can put the questions in your app. So you don't have to look at us the whole time if you don't want to, which great um and we're going to show you a screen and we'll read you the pin as well so you can have a little pin number to put in and then you put in a name whatever name you want to put in there will be fun and then we'll set the quiz off and you'll get some questions you'll get a choice of four answers i think yeah all the questions are in that format so you'll get four answers um which will be read out to you as well and yeah you just got to answer them you got to get them right and do them as quick as possible because the quicker you get them right the more points you get and you can get up to a thousand points a question and we want to see if you can get a thousand points a question because that's yeah. been done yeah absolutely um good stuff and we have 20 seconds to answer each question but as charlotte said the faster you answer the question correctly <laughs> then the uh yeah the higher the chances that you have of winning um and we will start off with a warm-up round of just six questions so you can get a chance to try it out if you've never tried it before um before we do the official quiz um and for the official quiz we have some amazing prizes to be won um so if you come first place overall then you will win access to our app um, we have an app where you can learn 146 different languages. So um, that would be that would be an amazing prize to win. Um, and then if you come second place, you can have access, unlimited access for like for 10 languages of your choice. 
Um, and we also have a prize for third place. So if you come in third place, you get the bronze prize and the bronze prize is access to five different languages on our app. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to give this your best shot. But as we said, for the first set of six questions, um, this is just a trial run. So yeah, no prizes for, for the trial run. All right, so I think we should get going. Are we ready? Let us know if you're ready in the chat. Ready? Oh yeah, Siri's ready. There we go, we've got one. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so let me share my screen with you. Here we go. Okay, so as Charlotte mentioned, all you need to do is go to kahoot.it. You can do this um, ideally on a different device. You can just type this into your browser. So you do not need the Kahoot app, um, but if you have it, then you can use that alternatively, um, and then you need to enter this pin, which is 6203246. A lot of people are doing just that. So that's great. We will hold off for a few seconds to give everyone a chance to come in. I think the competition is gonna be stiff today, Charlotte. What do you think? I think it is. There's a lot more people than, I'm not gonna lie, a lot more people than we normally have. Um, some of you obviously, you can probably tell we've met you before they're pretty quick but there's a lot of people we don't know about we don't know how fast you're going to be at this how good you're going to be yeah oh wow it's so great <laughs> so many people joining us for for this this afternoon especially on a wednesday it's amazing <laughs> gonzalo don't worry we'll wait we'll wait for you we won't sabotage you right at the beginning yeah we've got time <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, we're going to be asking you all kinds of different questions, um, all language related, of course. So some questions might be related to food from different countries. Um, we might have some etymology questions in there, um, some questions about language families, uh, maybe even a few translation related questions. So yeah, we, we have many different languages represented. So you're bound to see your language represented in our quiz today. So as we mentioned already, we're gonna start off with a warm up quiz to start uh, of just six questions to give you a chance to try out the Kahoot uh, quiz if you've never tried Kahoot before. Um, and if you have any technical issues, don't hesitate to write to us in the chat and we'll try and help you out and make sure that you can participate. We'll also be reading out all the questions and the answers so that it's inclusive for everybody. Yeah, so uh, Emily's gonna read those before they come on screen. So the answer will be read in order. They come in a four, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Um, it's also just to make it easier if you have a little bit of trouble reading them or understanding them, gives you a minute to think um, so you're not stuck trying to catch up when everyone's getting those points um but that's how we've got some of those thousand point scores i think so we'll have to see if we can do that today yeah that's right so. okay so we have 86 participants and we just have 71 people in the cahoots so far people are still coming in um totally fine if you just want to watch uh yeah i think we have time to wait for about one more minute before kicking off um, so if you do want to actively participate in the quiz, then please do log into kahoot.it now and enter this pin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the pin is 6203246 if you just come in. So happy to have so many people joining us today from all around the world. So exciting. We're really looking forward to finding out who our top linguists <laughs> are, the expert lingua. I think Gonzalo has made it. So we've got the three. Okay. I'm definitely saying that wrong. <laughs> we are gonna have to kick off in a few seconds. We'll just hold on just in case there's a last minute person who wants to jump on board. But yeah, if you've come in the last couple of minutes, this is just a, a warm up round. So if you do miss this, don't worry. 
the actual round hasn't isn't starting now will not start for a little bit exactly so no prizes for the warm-up round but we do have some great prizes to be won for the main round okay shall we get started everyone ready okay let's <laughs> <laughs> yes, there <it> is again. <laughs> okay, great. So it is starting. So I will, like Charlotte mentioned, read out all of the questions ahead of them appearing on the screen. So question number one is, which one of these languages is Austronesian? Quechua, Malay, French, or Navajo? So welcome to our Expo Lingua Winter Edition Quiz 2021. First question of our warm-up round. Which one of these languages is Austrian? Quechua, Malay, French, or Navajo? And the answer is going to appear any second now. <laughs> now is not the time for Kahoot to freeze. Come on. <laughs> Overloaded from a lot of people. Hmm. The anticipation is too much, Charlotte. <laughs> I can hardly bear it. Because I was telling us sabotage rules. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's been put in the chat a couple of times, which please don't put it in the chat till the question's done. But now is appropriate that the answer is Malay when it comes up. Um, that Malay is an Austronesian language. But yeah, there we oh, go. There it is. So 56 of you knew that. Good job. Go. <laughs> And yay and Jing Young, good job. I mean JJ, lots of J's. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so second question. What does the Russian word Sputnik mean? Fellow traveler, in the air, potato, or space travel? So question number two. What does the word, the Russian word Sputnik mean? Fellow traveler, in the air, potato space travel. Oh, good. This one was a bit trickier. It is fellow traveler. Amazing. Okay, because we don't have tons of time, I think we should move right on to question number three. Where is Assamese spoken? Australia, Spain, India, or Brazil? So where is Assamese spoken? Australia, Spain, India, or Brazil? Job is indeed India. Do you know what the name of the state is where it's mostly spoken, Charlotte? Is it Assam? <laughs> Assam? Oh, how did you know? <laughs> oh, it's almost like it's in the name. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, okay, I have a slightly harder question for you, but question number four. How many words does Filipino have for rice? One, three, seven, or 21? How many words does Filipino have for right. one, three, seven, or 21? Yeah, so the answer um, is seven. 
So some examples are ballet, which is unmilled rice, you guess, which is milled rice. Uh, there's even a word for burnt rice, which is tutong, <laughs> and leftover rice, which is baho. So yeah, oh, definitely an important food over there in the Philippines. Congratulations to everyone who knew that. So we have two more questions for our warm up round. Question number five, which one of these words originated from Arabic? Chocolate, apron, cafeteria, or algebra? Which one of these words originated from Arabic? Chocolate, apron, cafeteria, or algebra? Wow, you guys are good. It is indeed algebra. Charlotte, do you have any special extra information about that for us? Uh, so apparently the word, word algebra originates from the Arabic algebra, algebra, <laughs> which means the reunion of broken parts. I don't speak Arabic. That's why it sounds like that. Um, Very yeah, good. cool. Very interesting. All right, so yeah, the leaderboard has has been moving around a bit. Um, our final question for our warm up round number six is: In how many countries is Russian an official language? Two, four, five, or three? In how many countries is Russian an official language? Two, four, five, or three? Good job, it is four countries. So Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Russia, of course. So let's see who were our top scorers for our warm up round. All right, so in third place, we have Sandra. Congratulations, Yay. Sandra, good job. Second place, we have Jing Yong, good job. Yay. And in first place, we have three. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to our top three. And um, yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so let me stop this. <clears throat> okay, so that was just the warm up round. Um, we're now gonna jump straight into our main round. So just give me a couple of seconds to get that up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, while well, you're getting that up, that's fine. Um, yeah, the next round's gonna be 13 questions. Um, so we're just gonna go straight through. If you have joined in the meantime, while we were doing that first round, don't worry, we'll tell you how to log on. Um, if you want to go to kahoot.it already, then you'll be like ready to go um, because you're going to have to rejoin with a new pin. So refresh your page, whatever, just get ready for that. And for the prizes again, let me just find that. Um, so if you come in first, you're going to get lifetime access to all our languages on our app. So we have 146 right now, and we're adding a few more this year. Um, second place, you get access to 10 languages that you choose, and third place, you get access to five languages that you choose forever. Um, yeah, so we have some amazing go. prizes up for grabs. So good luck, everybody. And if you can't see it for whatever reason, this round's pin is 61436638, which I've also put in the chat. So make sure you get in if you want to win, or if you just want to prove that you're really good at languages. That's also a winning feeling. Absolutely. And hey, if you're just here for some language trivia and to pick up some new fun facts, then that's completely fine as well. And um, no pressure to actively participate in the Kahoot quiz if you just want to relax and listen in. Great. So we will wait a minute for everyone to come in who wants to participate. And then we'll kick off. So we have 
13 questions, as Charlotte mentioned. Um, yeah. yeah, let us know if you're having trouble in the chat as well. Um, so we can make sure everyone's in because we've not got we've got 10 minutes ish. We'll race through. You guys better be quick. <laughs> Uh, whilst we're waiting for our final couple of people to join, um, yeah, for those of you who, who don't get first, second or third place, it's okay. You can still try out our app. Um, we have a special discount for everyone who is here at Expo Lingua. So if you go to uta.lk forward slash Expo Lingua, you can check out all of the different languages that we have and um, maybe pick one that takes your fancy. And we've, we've got a raffle draw as well, which I put both those links in the chat. So we're also doing a raffle where you can win lifetime access if you wanna try. Amazing. So loads of different chances to um, either win or try out a new language or pick up an old one again. Yep. That's what we're here for at Expo Lingua because we love languages. So we've got 74. Is there anyone else who wants to join? I think we should close up in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do this. So our official quiz for Expo Lingua Winter Edition 2021. Question number one. If I order a Binky Lin in Beijing, what will I get? A cake, ice cream, wine? or crisps. All right, so question number one. Good luck, everybody. If I order a Binky Lin in Beijing, what will I get? A cake, ice cream, wine, or crisps? You will get ice cream. It's a very important Ooh. word that. We've got Janine at the top already. So let's see if she can stay there. Amazing. Okay, question number two. In Spanish, if I am embarazada, I am embarrassed, engaged to be married, allergic to honey, or pregnant. In Spanish, if I am embarazada, I am embarrassed, engaged to be married, allergic to honey, or pregnant. Good job, loads of you knew this one. Very well known false friend there. <laughs> And um, Jin Young's asking if this was in your talk, Emily, at the Polyglot conference. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I think it was. It was. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny false friend that don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> okay, let's move swiftly on to question number three. Where is Faroe spoken? The Faroe Islands, the Outer Hebrides, Ukraine, or Algeria? Where is Faroe spoken? The Faroe Islands, the Outer Hebrides, Ukraine, or Algeria. <laughs> nice, easy one for you there. Yes, the Faroe Islands. Oh, that's yeah, a few people up there. It's looking good. Okay, so next question. Three dots marks a question in which language? Afrikaans, Terrific, Berber, or Amharic? Three dots marks a question in which language? Afrikaans, Terrific, Berber, or Amharic? Uh, 
Excellent. Yeah, Amharic. Charlotte, do you know where Amharic is spoken? Is it Ethiopia? Yes, it is. Because you didn't write that on the thing <laughs> and I was trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you got it. Okay, good stuff. So we have Valeria in the top spot, closely followed by Pui, and then we have Taxi. <laughs> I'm not sure if these are real names. Probably. Very cool names. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, let's keep rolling. So next question, number five. What is the autonym for the Cebuano language? Is it Cebu, Vinisaya, Filipino, or Tagalog? What is the autonym for the Cebuano language? Cebu, Vinisaya, Filipino, or Tagalog? Oh, it is indeed in Asaya. And Charlotte, do you know where Cebuano is uh, is spoken? Yeah, on the island of Cebu. Yes, indeed. It looks like a stunning place if anyone fancies a holiday. Mm -hmm. Seems like a great destination, especially at this time of year. <laughs> okay, good stuff. So we're going to keep rattling through as we are running out of time very fast. So question number six, what is the national dish of Romania? Is it drob de miel, jumari, sarmali, or piorba de burta? What is the national dish of Romania? Drob de miel, jumari, sarmali, or piorba de burta? Uh, it is Saumale, which means uh, cabbage rolls. So, uh, so the, all of these foods are popular in Romania. So the picture actually was of the right answer. <laughs> yes, it was this time. It was I did not make the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, question number seven. What is isotrophobia? Is it fear of mirrors, fear of debt, fear of work, or fear of fear? What is isotrophobia? Fear of mirrors, fear of dirt, fear of work, or fear of fear. It is indeed fear of mirrors, so isotrope refers to mirror in Greek. Good job, some movement on the leaderboard there. Um, we're going to keep rattling through. So question number eight, which country is known as Sormi in Estonian? Is it Denmark, Greece, Finland or Colombia? Which country is known as Sormi in Estonian? Denmark, Greece, Finland or Colombia? Good job to everyone who put Finland. I think we made this quiz a bit too easy, Charlotte. What do you reckon? It's definitely got some high scores. It's nice though. It's good. You guys are too good. Um, we still have a few questions left, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it rolling. Uh, so our next question, number nine: Azerbaijani is part of which of the following language families? Oghuz, Tibeto-Burman, Austro-Asiatic, or Polynesian? Azerbaijani is part of which of the following language families? Oghuz, Tibeto-Burman, Austro-Asiatic, or Polynesian? Good job, it is indeed Oghuz, which for me is the hardest one to pronounce. <laughs> 
Okay, we just have four questions left. Thank you for bearing with us as we wrap this up. So without further ado, question number 10, how do you say yes in Greek? Ya, ohi, ne, or eparisto? How do you say yes in Greek? Ya, ohi, ne, or eparisto? stuff it is indeed nay all of the other words are also words in greek will let you go away and research yeah. the thing for yourself you can find all of the words on the we talk app if you want to learn greek okay question number 11 which language does the word pajama come from latin hindi hebrew or japanese which language does the word pajama come from Latin, Hindi, Hebrew, or Japanese? Yes, it is indeed the word Hindi. Sorry, the language Hindi. <laughs> word from Hindi. That's the one. Okay, we just have two questions left. Let's find out who our champion is in just a moment or two. So question number 12, which one of these languages uses tones? Vietnamese, Bengali, Swahili, or Arabic? Which one of these languages uses tones? Vietnamese, Bengali, Swahili, or Arabic? Yes, Vietnamese is the only language in that list that uses tones. Mm -hmm. A lot of you knew that one. So for our final question, in which country is Breton spoken? England, Latvia, Denmark, or France? So final question, in which country is Breton spoken? England, Latvia, Denmark, or France? job is indeed Brittany in France. So should we find out who our winners are? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so in third place, we have Charlie. Congratulations. Just under 10,000. <laughs> in second place, we have Suzy. Well done. Good uh, job. Amazing. And in first place, we have Ding Dong. Good job. So if you've won a prize, don't forget to email languages at utalk.com. Yes, please email me if you came in the top three for our official round. And I will be so happy to give you your prizes. Okay, so thank you so much for coming, everybody. Sorry, we ran a few minutes over. Um, and well, we would love to see you again on Saturday for a talk that Charlotte is giving on Indigenous languages, right, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. on endangered languages of Europe so that's at 2 p.m European time Central European time so I'll see you on Saturday hopefully see you all then and enjoy Expo Lingua it was great to have you with us see you soon bye